There may be times you need to create a hole or shape in your 3D model. There are various reasons that would present this need. In the past, you would have to import this model into complicated software such as Mesh Mixer. However, recent advancements in 3D printing slicers have implemented some of those tools previously left to outside software into the software slicer. This means you can now create holes and shapes in your 3D model right here in Creality Print. Let's go ahead and walk you through that right now. The first thing you'll need to do is highlight this model, keeping in mind that simply having this model on your print bed does not make this the active item. To make this the active item, click that model and you will see it's now blue and highlighted. This allows you to apply these tools to this active model. Now that our model is selected, let's go ahead and put a hole in Ghostface. Bring your mouse to the category with the four dots labeled Others. Click on that and this window will open presenting you with some fun new tools. You will be looking for the tool called Drill. Click on Drill to activate that tool. The active tool is up here in the top left corner. You will see it says Drill and you will be presented with a few options. Circle is already chosen. With Circle chosen, mouse over your model and you will see a cylinder following the contours of your model. Place the cylinder where you'd like the hole and left click. Creality Print will make a hole in your model. In the default mode, you will notice it is following the contours of the model, placing the hole in that direction. Here, for example, you can see how it follows the extreme angle of the nose. Clicking on that, you will see it created a hole flush against the model in the angle of the nose. Here we'll do it under the eye. You can see it created a hole in the angle of the contours of this eye. But let's say you wanted to make a straight hole regardless of the angle of your model. You will need to mouse over to Direction. And next to Direction, click on Perpendicular to Screen. Here you will see, regardless of the curvature of the model, the cylinder remains straight ahead, perpendicular to the screen, straight from my view. Do keep in mind, depending on the curvature of the model, it may not be able to place a complete hole. Should you rotate the model, the cylinder will now face in the other direction, continuing to keep the cylinder straight from your view. Had we chose normal, it would follow the contours of this model regardless of the view you have currently on the screen. For example, here you can see it is following the contours of the eye, where perpendicular to screen remains straight regardless of the contours of the eye. You don't have to only make circles. You may click on the pull down next to shape and choose triangle or square. Triangle or square work exactly the same as circle, following the same rules and principle, but allows you to place squares or circles in your model. There is one remaining useful tool within the drill tool, and of course, that is the size. This is in millimeters and allows you to go ahead and change the size of your circle, hole, or triangle by simply raising or lowering the radius amount in millimeters. Here you will see I've now made a bigger hole. And here you will see a bigger hole yet. And here you will see a small little hole. Once you become comfortable working with this tool, you can become more creative, coming up with unique ways to modify your model beyond making holes, such as creating slots. There are many reasons you may want to make a hole in your model. It is super useful for those of you who make ornaments, keychains, signs, and the like. And of course, those of you who are super creative will obviously come up with many more reasons to create holes, triangles, and squares in your model. And this is how you do it.